All right, guys, come with me. It's Oberon season. All right, guys, welcome back. We're diving into a Michigan beer that is critically acclaimed, pretty darn famous. It is that time of the year again, guys, the glorious time of early spring. Seems like it's a little early this year because it's only March, but that's typically when Oberon drops, and here we are. We're diving into the Oberon 2023 version. At this point, I've reviewed this beer countless times on the channel. You can look at other reviews if you want. Go search them, Oberon, Poor Michigan Reviews, whatever. I probably have done it like two to four times. I don't know, I don't know how many times it's been now. Why do I keep reviewing it? Well, this year is interesting. It, Bells was bought out, it's, it's a larger company now. Uh, has anything changed? We will kind of investigate these things today. Obviously, I'm hoping they kept the recipe the same. Why would you change a classic? The packaging's the same. They're offering all types of bottles, cans, four packs, 12 packs, can bottles, both versions, whatever you want, they have it. I think they have tall boys. I have the four pack today that's the 16 ounce. So American Wheat Ale, historically known, you guys know Oberon, I don't have to go into detail, but I guess I will anyways, 5.8%. And this was canned on 2.16.23. So guys, I'm just gonna disclaimer. I do have this beer early. I have this beer early time of recording. It's March 15th. So I'm gonna dive in and give you a review. I don't know when I'm gonna drop this. I think the official drop date or release date for Oberon is uh, Monday, March 20th. So, you know, five days before, here we are. Let's dive in. Got a little Belgian uh, glassware, but you know, Oberon's not always like Belgian-y. People like take it for a Belgian beer, but it's an American wheat. It's got some of those qualities. We'll see. 2023 version, we have this beautiful orange, amberish hue to it, a little dark orange, a little light orange kind of combination. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffiness sitting on top, Dawn, Dawn Soapy bubbles, not really sticking to the glass, they're sliding down very majestically. Uh, moderate carbonation stream into the top, you guys see it, it's a hazy Hefeweizen, it's American wheat, whatever you wanna say, it is what it is, aroma. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> It smells like spring and summer, man. I just and that it's a it's a smell of summer. It just it's nostalgic. Um, it's not my favorite beer. It never has been, but today it's hitting me in all the feels. Light doughy baked bread, um, citrus like lemon zest, orange, dash of coriander kind of thing in there. So light and crisp though. It smells like more bright and and, and um, crispy this year. I don't know what it is. And maybe it's just because I haven't had one in a long time. It smells about the same, I would say. Just a little bit of that Belgian-y vibe. It's got a little bit of that like clovey coriander kind of thing. Just a little like zippy spice, a little bit of that Belgian feel to it. But really it's that it's that tangerine. It's that it's that um, lemon, lemon zest. Uh, just kind of playing a role into that baked doughy bread through the middle, that little malty complex. Guys, it's Oberon 2023. Cheers. Prost. Let's dive in. It's Oberon. It's Oberon, baby. <laughs> yeah, it, it feels good to have this right now. Again, I think it's just because I haven't had one in a long time, but it feels smooth. It feels citrusy. It feels um, not so Belgian. -y. It doesn't. It, it doesn't really. I, I think people kind of misjudge some of that. I've said it's had that vibe. It's got just a touch of that spice, but it's really just that orange kind of clementine halo zestiness. And then you got the the lemon juice, lemon zest, lemon rind, pithy kind of thing going on in there. But it's a smooth beer through the middle, just that bright, citrusy, uh, doughy middle that goes into nice, soft, floral, slight spice, and, and a touch of bitterness on the back end, but just smooth all the way through. Just fantastically brewed. Mm -hmm. uh, just, just for a moment, that herbally floral spice, I mean, that you want to say that's clovey, kind of banana estery. Uh, that fruity zippiness that's got just beautiful softness to it. Uh, it. It's a good beer, man. I actually remember not liking it 
so much in some other years. I don't know, this one feels smooth. It feels crisp, it feels light, it feels refreshing, um, yet very bright and vibrant and uh, delicately delicious. <laughs> I mean, this, this is a very good version of Oberon in my opinion. Summer in a glass, man, and again, little floral zippy spice on the back end just to kind of sum things all together and bring that bready doughiness kind of to a nice screeching halt on the back end it's just it's just good man it's just a tasty beer and um it, it feels right and, and this year um hey maybe maybe this is a little bit more soft and delicately put together this year it seems like it's it's got a nice dose of citrus um but it feels softer the body feels like it's got a crispy middle and I love it. And I just love the finish. That touch of herbaly spice. It just, it's hitting all the feels, man. It could be a flawed opinion. It could be that I haven't had it in a long time. So this is good. I feel like a bigger company would not change this. They've absorbed bells. They would not change this flagship. Um, but it feels like it's right. It just feels right. So rating. Mm -hmm. Getting a little more like clove on the back end and, and esteriness. Well, it's, yeah, it, it, it feels like Oberon, dude. Um, but the more I'm drinking it, I'm getting a little bit more of that spice coming out, that that zippy floral. I don't, it's it's good. It's good. I'm going to go with a 3.85 out of 5 because you know what? This feels like summer. This has been the 2023 Oberon review for you guys. It's not meant to be majestic, but to me, it feels majestic today. So that's where I'm ranking this. Thanks for being here. It's poor Michigan reviews. Cheers.